If I could, I'd like to get uh, a little bit strange for a moment, a little bit philosophical, and talk about a rather odd subject. Last night I had a dream that I've had many times throughout my life, but I've never really discussed this dream openly with much of anybody. So I thought maybe this would be a good forum to kind of air out my thoughts on the subject. Get your head out of the gutter. No, it's not a dream about that. It's a dream where essentially I have the ability to fly. And that may or may not sound like uh, anything crazy or unusual, but to paraphrase Morpheus from The Matrix, have you ever had a dream that you were so sure was real? The thing about this dream where I have the ability to fly is in the course of the dream, there's a uh, physical sensation component to this thing. Like, it's not that I'm just all of a sudden up in the air and I'm floating around. There's a physical sensation to it. I can, I can feel the gravity pulling me down. I can feel like a physical exertion that's required in order for me to be able to fly in this dream. A couple of recurring themes tend to come out in this flying dream. Somewhere along the way in the dream, I begin to struggle and I begin to lose this ability and it becomes difficult and I'll have these attempts where I start to get off the ground and I can feel the exertion, but then I, I can't maintain the focus and I fall. That happens a lot and, and each time, there's this doubt in my mind that, oh my God, I'm gonna lose this ability to fly. That's part of it. And then there's also this fear that, well, what happens if I fly too high and all of a sudden this ability cuts out and I'm not able to maintain focus and I'm hundreds of feet in the air, then what? There's, a, there's an awareness in the dream that I'm not invulnerable. I'm, I'm just as fragile as any other human body. And if I fall from this height, I'm dead. So the reason I bring this out is that every time I have this dream, I get into this really weird metaphysical argument with myself over what exactly the dream is. So there's two different schools of thought that uh, kind of fight each other for attention in my awareness. And here's what it comes down to. In the more logical, medical, psychological based definitions, a dream is a reflection of your subconscious so that when you're asleep and you enter the REM sleep stage your subconscious mind is testing out different stressful situations on you essentially that your subconscious is like trying things out to see how you'll react hey let's see how he does if I throw this at him now in these scenarios uh, this is your subconscious trying to figure out can you handle if something like this were to happen in real life or could be like your mind is essentially trying to desensitize itself to stressful situations so that you will be more prepared on some level if a disaster strikes now at the same time you may have happy dreams pleasurable dreams very pleasurable dreams get your mind out of the gutter and those situations, I think, could be that your subconscious mind is essentially rewarding you or as part of the you know, housekeeping to sweep out any negativity or stress from your day, that your subconscious is giving you pleasant imagery to kind of reset your clock, which is the purpose of dreaming and the purpose of REM sleep in the first place. But then, being the geek that I am, I can't help but wonder if the dream could be a window into another plane of existence. Here's the thing. On some level, I'm kind of a believer in the idea of multiverse. The idea that, you know, reality, however tangible it may be to us, is permeable. And that every action and decision of every conscious creature everywhere creates offshoot alternate reality. So you get into this explosion of multiple billions of possible worlds uh, where things would happen differently than they happen here. So if we understand, again, back to the medical definitions of sleep and REM sleep, 
your mind is going into a different state of thought. Your brain waves change. Your alpha waves are different than they are when you're awake. So could it be that your dream is an actual window into a different reality where something different has happened or could have? So in other words, when I'm falling asleep, as my mind giving me the ability to see into different realities where different things have happened to me, i.e. in this reality I can fly. I get that that's really far out there and that's a really incredible stretch of the imagination that, you know, okay, come on back down to earth, buddy. There's no such thing as alternate realities. Your dreams are just your dreams and you should stop thinking so deeply about it. Like I said, this is a really weird, odd, metaphysical, babbling video. And if you've made it this far, I really commend you and I really, really would love to get your thoughts on all of this. What are your experiences? Post in the comments and tell me if anything I've said relates to something you've experienced. Or are you a psychologist and you're looking at this and going, this man needs mental health. You can tell me that too and I'll go seek mental help. If you've got some really strange friends that you think would find this video extremely interesting, please share it with them. Thanks for putting up with me on this very odd topic today. I appreciate having you along for the ride. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you in your dreams or I'll see you on the road.